uh, I mean, I'm actually quite perplexed with this number. UK number is so high. So is it so a developed nation will have a higher probability of having cancer? Is it because is it a lifestyle related thing? I can get what I can get from you, but I want to talk about this final aspect of cancer, which is, you know, when doctor says, and we see in movies also that, ab kuch nahi ho sakta. Like the final doctor gives up that we can't do anything about it now. We just have to wait for the inevitable thing to happen. That phase of life for someone who is suffering or for the family, what would you recommend? What should be the mental state at that phase? Uh, and even today, for some cancers, uh, such as mouth and throat cancer, mm -hmm. uh, uh, India probably has the highest number of cases mm -hmm. uh, compared to other parts of the world. And now what we're recognizing is that actually in somebody who's about 70 kilograms, right? Three kilograms of their body weight is actually germs. What are you saying? Yeah. Amazing. And because the germs are smaller, okay? Because the germs are smaller per kilo, right? There are more germs per kilo than there are human cells per kilo. Now, again, I forget the numbers and I can look this up for you. But if you were to count the number of germs versus count the number of human cells, there are more germs than human cells. So in some ways, we're more germ than we are human. <laughs> so you should stop using the term germ in a negative connotation now. Absolutely. Right? Yeah.